Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today we're going to explain how you can securely use your secrets like API keys in a node project by loading them in as environment variables. One of the biggest security mistakes that developers make is hard coding secrets like your API keys. And this is because even if you remove them later, they're gonna get stuck in your Git repositories. And you only need to look at the news to know that Git repositories are being targeted by hackers because they are known to contain a lot of secrets in the history. So today we're gonna to show you how to securely use them so that they don't get exposed on the client side by someone using your application and they won't end up inside your Git repositories either. So let's dive straight in. All right, looking on my screen right now, you'll see a very simple node project. We have here a variable called my API key, and as we have a token, and here we're making a request to the NASA API, and we're using that key. So if we run this, then we get our response back from this API describing the image of the day. So this is all working fine, but this is an insecure way of doing it. We've hard coded the credential. So that means it's going to end up inside our Git repositories. Um, and even in our history, if we later remove it, so we don't want that. Uh, we're also not handling it in a secure way by any stretch of the imagination. So let's go ahead and remove this and add it in as an environment variable. So the first step is to explain what is an environment variable. So if we run the command env in our terminal, it will spit back a bunch of variables uh, with their strings next to them. Now this is being used by our machine uh, in order to run certain configurations or run programs so it knows what to do. When we deploy our application, environment variables work the same way on our server or on our infrastructure. And these are loaded in local memory, which means our application can call from them without risk of them being exposed. So if I want to remove this and add it in as an environment variable, uh, it's really quite simple. The first thing I need to do is take this string and add it in as an environment variable. It's very easy to do that manually. I can run the command export and then create a key. I'm gonna call it secret key equals and then our string. If I run this and then run env again, you'll see that now added in here is our secret key. Now, in order for this to be able to load from the environment, it's really quite simple. All we need to do is change this so that it equals our process from our environment and we need to load in our secret key. So now that we've done that, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add in a line here so that we print out on our console, my API key. And then I'm going to comment out all of the rest. If we run this again, what you get is we get it printed out from our environment variable. And that's because it's being loaded in from our environment, this here. But this isn't a very efficient way of doing it because, well, what if I have lots of these variables and I need to load them all in? Then I'd have to create some kind of script and I'll have to save those secrets somewhere and it's all just messy and not secure. But there's a much better way of doing it and that's using a project called .omv. So if you search on npm for .omv or if you prefer, you can go to the GitHub project of it itself. And this is a very simple project that basically helps you load in your environment variables from a .env project. Now, across lots of different languages, not just Node or JavaScript, uh, similar processes are done to load in our environment variables. So all we need to do is to install this program and create a .env file. So back in our terminal or our IDE, we just need to run the command npm install env and then save this here will install that onto your machine and now we can freely use that package so what we're first going to do is create a env file so we've now created this and we're going to load in um, our api key so before we called it secret key, I'm now just going to call it API key just to make a difference so you know that I'm not cheating. 
and we're going to copy in that project, that token here, and save it. And over in here, we obviously need to change this to API key, so it's the same. I'm just changing the name so that you know that I'm not cheating. All right, so we've created our .env file. We need to create one more file here called .gitignore. Now, this isn't anything to do with the actual process of loading in the variables, but it's really important. This .env file is going to become extremely sensitive. If this makes it out into a Git repository somewhere public, it's going to be attacked before you can even count to 10. So what you need to do is make sure this never ends up inside your Git project. The best way to do that is with a .gitignore file. I have a whole video on .gitignores and how you can use them. They're really powerful. Um, I'll make that appear somewhere. But all we need to do right now is just add in one line .env. This means that our .env file isn't going to be tracked anymore. And so we, if we do something silly like git add all, we're not going to accidentally end this, have this file ended up in our project. So we still need to do one more thing, and that is to call that .env project. So to do that, it's quite simple. All we need to do is type in here require .env and then .config, and we're done. So what this is going to do is say, hey, we're using this .env project. That then is going to look for this file, the .env. It's going to load in any environment variables, and then it's going to come out. The last thing that I'm going to do here is just before we print our key is I'm just going to print out our environment variables. Um, this is very simple. Process.env. So this will just print out all our environment variables, and then it should print out just our key here so we can have a, have a closer look. So let's run this and see what happens. All right, so we've it's successfully printed out our environment variable here. This is where you can see it, our API key. We still have our secret key in here. Um, just to avoid any confusion, we'll delete this. And then we run this again. We'll see our API key, the secret key is no longer there, but we're still printing out this successfully. So we've loaded in our uh, API key from a .env file. So we've also ignored our .env file. So the only thing really left to do is to run this and see if it still works in the same way. So I'm going to here comment out these two lines because we no longer need them. And I'm going to uncomment out this. So what should happen is we should load in our API key. We should make that call. It should use the API key from our environment variable, our .env file, and then we should spit us back a response. So let's see if this will all work properly. And there we have it. It's made a successful call to the API using our API key from our environment variable. And we're done. I hope you found that video useful. Like and subscribe to the channel because we have lots more content like this. And if you found this useful, you'll find our other videos useful as well. I'll see you in another video. And always remember, secure code is good code.